energy. What, you laughing at the way I dance? <laughs> you don't think I'm the best dancer here? Got it going on, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, really, the way that the world looks at us is sometimes quite a bit different from the way we see ourselves. There are some people who the world looks upon as great beauties who think that they're ugly. And there are some people who are not attractive to most people in the world who think that they are gorgeous. I was just asking the audience before the show, is there anybody here who thinks that they are better looking than most of the people in this audience? There are a couple of people. You do. Stand up, please. Not everybody. Yeah, but you think you're better looking than most people in the audience? Definitely. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the humanity. And for those of you who got a Chia pet at Christmas time, yes, they do grow all year long. confident young lady she says she's better looking than most but our guests today are sisters who say their own flesh and blood are vain are stuck-up people are people who think that they are totally self-centered on their looks they think that they are beautiful are they really we'll find out later in the show because in the first segment like those vain Egyptians of old they are mummified and we will reveal them to you in the next segment but first Welcome, Crystal. Crystal says her sister, Nikki, thinks she's so beautiful that she calls herself the bum. There's Nikki. Just the Egyptians wrap themselves as mummies to preserve their looks. Our vain, stuck-up sisters are also wrapped to be revealed later in the broadcast. Is she really that beautiful? We'll have to find out later. Now say hello to Chantal. Chantal says her sister Kim is so vain and self-centered. She's nicknamed herself the Queen. Well, she's dressed up today as the Queen of the Nile. Please welcome Kim. Her Majesty, the Queen. Next, we have Intrigue, who tells us that her sister Mirage is so concerned about her looks that she sings love songs to her own reflection in the mirror. Mirage, please appear. There is Ruth, who says her older sister Rachel calls herself the Puerto Rican princess. But she acts as if she's Cleopatra. Rachel! Ah, Rachel, 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 you're all wrapped up there, but I will say this. You do have a beautiful ass. That was the... <laughs> a stubborn one, but... Wow. 
Black Oh, Black right. Black Let me go back to Crystal, who is here because her sister is so vain that she wakes up in the morning and people have to salute her in what way? What do you say to her in the morning? I don't do it all the time, but I just do it so she can just shut up. She, sometimes she wants you to be like... Well, what do you say to her? Good morning, beautiful woman. You, good morning, yeah. beautiful Ain't woman. Your sister also looks in the mirror. What does she do she while... She looks in the mirror. I don't even want to get on that topic, but I'm going to tell y'all. She looks in the mirror and talks to herself, talking about, I am so beautiful. God, God, why did you make me so beautiful? I mean, you should have gave my looks to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> she also has a nickname for herself. What is her nickname? The Bomb. Not the Bomb. The, the Bomb. bomb. Walter, get ready one more time, because I think one of the most bizarre things that the bomb <laughs> does <laughs> is her dancing ritual. She wears sunglasses when she goes to dance. Yes, when she goes to parties, she always wears sunglasses. I don't know if she got them on her nail, but I know she wears sunglasses everywhere she go. And she keep an extra pound top on her head, so in case she dance with an ugly guy, she tell him, put them on. She look like the bomb. And when she dance with him, she be like, hey, hey. You know, you know. All right, Chantel. Chantel, your sister, you say, became a priss when she was a teenager. You didn't even talk for, this is Chantel, you didn't talk for two years because of, uh, because she was I'm so stuck up. She has, what's that? Her nickname is what? Queen. The queen. The queen. <laughs> now, the queen has her nails done every two days, but she does change her nail color on occasion. For what reason, Chantal? Because she thinks she's the queen. She thinks, she thinks she's the queen. She just take it little shift. It ain't perfect. We gotta start all over again. Well, she. Yeah. You told us that she sleeps in her makeup. She what does. Is, what does she look like when she wakes up in the morning? Good. She looks like a raccoon with a bow neck in mouth. Well, you never know when the queen might have an audience. She looks good. All right. Intrigue. Your sister Mirage is there under wraps. But your sister also looks in the mirror and makes face. You brought a mirror with you. Yes, just... I did, Richard. Here can it is, right here. Can you show us what your sister does as she looks in Richard, the mirror? Richard, let me tell you about how dusty this mirror is, all right? I don't even know how she sees the real thing. Mirage, okay. I just want to let you know that. If you clean it, you see a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> What is she like when she looks in the mirror? What? It's all about me. I'm gorgeous, and everybody wants me. Everybody's mad. Everybody, they want me. And she all... <laughs> I don't think so, honey. Your sister right. also sleeps... She takes pictures and stuff of herself because... Yeah. Oh, Let's she... take a look at one of those pictures. <laughs> how would you describe this picture as I hold it up to the camera oh, here? Oh, goodness. Let me get a shot that of that. That picture tell you... You know how they say a picture's worth a thousand words? Yes. That's it, right there. It's two thousand words. It's all what? about me. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> she also, she also uh -huh. sleeps in her makeup, right? Yeah. So yeah, what does she do? A little bit. A little I'm bit. So wonderful. Everybody wants me. That's I don't why think my name so. Is we'll you see think you in a few moments, no, and we'll no. see how wonderful you are. Oh, but finally, we have Ruth <laughs> and Rachel. Your sister also has a nickname for herself. What is her nickname? Goldface. 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 Because I shine. That's why. All right, she practices sexy looks in the mirror, right? <laughs> uh, you know no. what? I, what is a sexy look? <laughs> You're her little sister, but can you show us? Give us an imitation of what? I'll show you what Come I on. Do, it's still dirty. Come on. <laughs> That's what she does in the. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. We don't know if these women are really good looking or not. We know what you look like. <laughs> and you're better looking than most. <laughs> we do know that all of these women think they are so beautiful that they should center their lives around their physical appearances. When we come back, would you stand up, please? Stand up on this chair. 
When we come back, we'll see how they compare to this paragon of beauty in our audience. Stay with us. send you a picture and story of a child you can save. Ah, I see a very large phone bill in your future. Wait a minute. That's the old way. Why spend a fortune to get the guidance you need when you can speak with your own personal psychic for free? A private reading for free? <laughs> yes, a free private reading with a live psychic. I didn't believe it at first, but it really is free. She knew things that no one could possibly know. Join the ASA Membership Club and receive a free psychic reading, free daily horoscope calls, free lucky numbers, and valuable free gifts. It's the advice. I got the job that I was looking for, and it pays a lot more money. I call for my horoscope every day, and it's free. I call for my lucky numbers. Oh, now I see you'll be saving so much money. For amazingly accurate advice, join the ASA Membership Club. The first month is absolutely free. Call 1-800-713-4266. Welcome back! Vanity! Vanity! All is vanity, at least with our guests. But you know what? That uh, really beautiful people in our society or people who are held up as being really beautiful many of them don't think they're that exceptionally uh, good-looking Michelle Pfeiffer once described herself as looking like a duck Cindy Crawford once walked through Bloomingdale's and the shopping girl came up to her and she didn't have any makeup on Cindy Crawford and she said you know if you fixed yourself up you could really look beautiful she didn't know who she was people who are really beautiful sometimes are very humble about their looks are the guests up on our stage the sisters of our complaining guests as beautiful as they think they are well we will take them out of their wraps right now, demummify them, and see what they really look like. Nikki, you know that you are beautiful. Right. Would you reveal yourself to us now? Your sister Kim sleeps in her makeup. Kim, I know you've worked hard on your look. Oh, she's jealous. 
Now, Kim, oh Kim, God. you're known as the queen or you come from Queens? Excuse what me, was thanks. it? I am okay. the queen. I am the queen. Get my own out of here. I'm um, the queen. He wants to be like Intrigue. Me. Intrigue. Yes. Um, your sister's name is Mirage, and your mother must have really been. Don't really see it. Your, your mother must have been flipping through the dictionary looking for names at the last moment. Let's see if she's a mirage of beauty or a mirage of disaster. for attention that is fairly obvious and finally Ruth your older sister Rachel your older sister Rachel is under wraps you showed us how Ruth shut <laughs> up Ruth, your older sister, Rachel, you showed us how she primps in front of the mirror, so I'm, I assume we'll get the same sort of presentation as we take her sheet off. Let's take a look at Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, you told our producer several things that are that are that are that are, that are, that are quite amazing. You say that you could look at a man and bring him to His sexual fulfillment. Ultimate climax, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just didn't hear what you just said. I said his ultimate climax. You can bring a man. I can to make him orgasm by him just looking at me. For those, um, for, those, for those members of our uh, viewing audience at home, if you're a man and you do not want to have this happen to you, <laughs> or, or you, if you're a, a woman watching this show with your husband or your boyfriend and you would not like this to happen to him, please... Cover your eyes right now. Would you please, because this has never been done before on television. <laughs> if you could show us the kind of look you have to give, like the like Medusa, you know, Medusa turned men to stone. You have this tremendous power. Can you please look into this camera and give us that look? I, I will say this, that was quite a distinctive gesture you had there. It makes me want to do a similar one. Let me get back to let me get back to Nikki. Nikki, um, why? Why do you want people to say, hello, beautiful lady in the morning when you wake up? Just my sister, because oh, she's yeah. jealous of me. I will! Hey, you is jealous of me! Oh, he's my mommy! Oh, my mommy! No, wait, she's mad because I'm the mom. She's mad because I'm the mom. No, she's mad because I'm the mom. Because I'm the mom. She's mad because I'm the mom. Nikki, sit down! Sit down! Sit down! 
<laughs> no, Nikki, 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 you're, you're not an unattractive lady, and none of the ladies up here are. But do you really feel that you are so exceptionally good-looking that, I'm... wait a second, that you could even be compared to... Oh, she's nothing. Something like this. She's You are a mother as well as an icon of beauty, yes. but you do not let motherhood interfere with your being beautiful, right? Oh, she owes you nothing. Them kids no, no, can't do nothing. The prince, they call the princess her, are at home. She won't even change her diapers until after she puts your little rubber gloves on. Right? Oh, I, I, I understand that even when she's you jealous. even no, when you went into labor, either. you were concerned about your looks. What yeah, did you I do when you? Hey, it was a beautiful makeup. experience. You might as well look beautiful. What for did the it? doctor say to you when you went into labor? He said I was one of the nicest looking ladies he's seen in labor. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's on the inside, it's on the outside, too, so. All right. I'm just not a whore It's dog. always She's nice to have a guest who's so supportive of the union movement in America. We're going to be back in just a moment. The next sirens, a teenage killer is on the loose. I didn't kill Billy. The guy used remote control to detonate the bomb ring. They forced you to have sex with them? They all have a soft spot for their girlfriends and their sisters, and when they find out, they're gonna do the same thing to you. If she found out that I slept with him, she'd hate me. Sean's a jerk. He convinced a whole bunch of us that it'd be like this super cool thing to have your own gun. I love Billy. Sirens, Wednesday at 9 on UPN 9. In two days, get ready for more fun and more adventure than you've had all summer. Justin! Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home, rated PG. Starts Wednesday, July 19th at a theater near you. Most people think all pine cleaners disinfect, but mix some of them with water and their disinfection power quickly disappears. Not Lysol Pine Action. It's stronger in the bottle, stronger in the bucket. It's a party at Friendly's Restaurants. What's the occasion? This year, it's Friendly's 60th anniversary, and almost everyone's invited. Now, when you buy any entree salad, like the new Caribbean chicken salad, you get a festive strawberry sundae free. With pleasure. Then take home Friendly's premium ice cream and frozen yogurt, just $5 for any two half gallons. So come on in to Friendly, where it's always a party. Make plans to see the best women in golf at the Friendly's Classic, July 24th through 30th. All great dramas have a beginning. A middle. And an end. So do all great networks. The new season coming to UPN. Dramatically different. Coming this fall to UPN 9. Channel 9's A Plus for Kids salutes the best of New Jersey's public school teachers. Kathleen A. Ruella of Spotswood High School in Spotswood and Patricia A. Nichols of the Hatchery Hill School in Hackettstown. Congratulations to all our A Plus teachers. They salute all of the great beauties that we've brought from all around the country to our program today. At least women who think that they are great beauties. Stand up, please. Question in the audience. Yes, I feel the only reason why you guys are on here because all y'all are insecure. All right. Insecure. Are you? Hold on. Isn't there some truth to what she says, though? If if you really believed in your own attractiveness, 
Why would you need a sister to say, hello, beautiful lady? Why would you need the doctor to say you're the most beautiful person in labor? Why would you... Look at those teeth. Please. <laughs> I will say this, that don't you, she, she, you do have beautiful teeth. Look at, those are all real teeth, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't seen teeth like that's that since what, Jurassic Park. That's what it is, oh. Mr. Smile. Yeah, exactly. She does have a beautiful smile, you will admit that. You know, Richard, see, she is beautiful, but... When somebody's gonna take it like it's all about me, ain't nobody else can compare, she won't give another person a compliment. It's all mirage. You know right, what I'm why, saying? Why, why do you have to be this? I noticed as soon as we unveiled you, you walked out, you wanted the audience to cheer. Why do you want all that attention? Well, because, you know, before she was born, I was the only child. And I really think that the mold was broken when I was made. So Not only that so much... <laughs> Not only that so much, Richard, is that... When you have inward confidence and high self-esteem, people seem to think that you're vain. When you're strong, and I don't think, you know, of course I'm good looking, you know. The guys wait at me in the car. I get jumped in line when I go out. I'm a dancer. I make a lot of money. I work no, in Puerto Rico. Because, no, no, no. Well, See, that's on, because hold on, hold in Puerto on. Rico, I work at, in New Jersey. Wait a Jersey, second. Wait I make a second. all the money. I wait come out, and all the girls are going, oh, it's a bad night. I'm like, I know, yeah. but hold on, hold on. Didn't, didn't God just give you the looks that you have, why should you be so conceited, conceited or full of yourself Thank about you. something Thank you. It comes from within. that you didn't accomplish, really? Well, it comes from within. Shouldn't you be more proud of your intelligence, of and a good heart, of think. a humility, of, everything. of why, friendship? That's of why I think I've got it going on, because I'm proud of myself. She thinks that. I, I think she that. She thinks that. She thinks that. I think that beauty is within yourself. <laughs> It, beauty is, you know how to friend. carry it well. Beauty is... Well, what do you think about your sister? You love your sister, don't I you? I love my sister. But... She's a great sister. Well, what is your sister... But I'm Mirage. And what... And she's... She's intrigued. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But... That's right, I keep you wondering. I don't show you all. Thank all right, you. yeah. Well, get to be true. Hold on, please. Stand up. how good looking you are because if you're this conceited it detracts from all looks you no, may wait think a you have you are a very attractive thank young you. lady right thank you. Thank now you. she says thank you but you don't stand up and say hey i'm better looking than all of you no. you don't you don't flaunt your looks around no. or, or how do you respond to the fact that you are an attractive person i mean what does that mean to you what is it well if people think i am i take it as a compliment i don't take it like i think people should come up to me and say hey you're beautiful you know that that's fine and it's nice to hear but you shouldn't expect it in the morning you shouldn't expect people to salute you whatever <laughs> come on but it I'm certainly isn't up. it certainly isn't attractive to be conceited is it attractive to be self-centered is it attractive to be selfish is it attractive to glory in your own look do you think everyone that everyone should yes, think good everyone of themselves should think everyone, everyone that. should think they're the best black everyone skinny. should think that everybody you're the best. should think that you're all that no matter who you are and what you are and what you do right right and i am all that and i do love when people give me you know what though you because know what those that have it don't brag they about it, about it. <laughs> we're gonna take a break we'll be right back you think your boyfriend's cheating and you have proof? Are you having trouble in your relationship? Do you have a best friend who lied to you or maybe even stole your man away? Well, we might be able to offer some help if you give us a ring at 201-392-8499. That's if you have a relationship problem. 